Today, we are going to be pack-a-punching every single SMG submachine gun in Call of Duty Treyarch Zombies History. We are starting off on World at War Doris because it is the only map in this game with a pack-a-punch machine. Y'all know the drill. There are only two rules to this challenge. Number one, we have to upgrade the gun. Duh, but there's no kill count associated with it. And number two, we will not be doing any repeats. I classify a repeat as something that is either a direct remake of the gun, or if it's very similar in name and functionality, to the point where you can't really differentiate them. So, if it has its own unique identity with its own name, I'm more prone to include it, but that's more so further down the line as we progress through these games. There are a ton of SMGs in Zombies history. Call of Duty history, really, at large. It is a very diverse and expansive weapons class. SMGs are, of course, the guns that we typically go for anyways in these challenges to help us accumulate points and set up because that's what their functionality is. There are four SMGs in World at War to upgrade. Three of them are wall guns, thankfully. We have the all-time classic Thompson right over there. We have the Type 100 a little bit further along. We have the all-time classic MP40 over here. And we have one box gun, that being the, say with me, all-time classic PPSH. So we have to rely a little bit on luck to get that. But otherwise, this shouldn't be too tricky on this game. But then again, every time I say that about World at War, it manages to be tricky because these zombies are very, very glitchy. All right, we got enough for Jug already, which is good. We're going to get Speed and Double Tap. Quick Revive infamously doesn't work in this game. And, ah, what SMG are we going to go for? F second. I'm thinking since this door is right here, maybe the Type 100. Screw it. Because I don't know this for a fact, and I'm not going to be going over statistics heavy in this video, just kind of comparing and contrasting lightly. But I think that the Type 100 might have a little less damage output than the MP40. Definitely the PPSH. Here we are. We can also link the tally on the way out. Grab that. Mmm, nice little side clip extendo. Double tap. Let's see what this thing looks like with double the fire rate. Oh my god. Yeah. These things are cracked. Cracked with double tap. The Thompson's even crazy. We're pretty close to 5k. We're gonna pap one of these first. I mean, the order really does not matter whatsoever. Okay, let's get it. Gibzomatic is my name guess here. Yup, yup, yup. I would say out of all of the SMGs in this game, this one might be the best for high rounds, even though none of them are ideal because. This one sort of allows you to just constantly rebuy ammo, and the damage isn't, like, embarrassing. And I gotta make it out of here before they pinch me! Here goes nothing. I think this is called the Thousand and One Samurais. I'm really good with these names in the earlier games, but as we go on, you know, especially with, like, BO4, <laughs> I'm just clueless. So this is, you know, largely the same functionality, increased damage, ammo, etc. Oh, okay! Well, we got out of the box! I guess that saves us the trip of having to buy this on the wall. You know what? That works out. PBSH, PBSH, PBSH. Yes! Oh my fucking god. We all know what the MP40 does. What that mouth do. And the PPSH is even more exciting. You know what? Let's get this upgraded first just because the PPSH is already so amazing in and of itself right now. It's by far the best, I would say. I just wasted a little bit of ammo there. But yeah, so we got three out of four done. And then once we get enough, we'll pop this bad boy. Do a little bit of catwalk action here. Death to you. This is nice. Just to give you an idea of how good the PPSH is, this is an upgraded MP40 here. It's shredding. I mean, to be honest, it's round 14, so they're all going to do well. But you can see the difference there. And then you just whip out the unupgraded version, and it's even better. The damage output multiplier here is fucking bonkers, dude. Bananas. I mean, that's why so many people wanted it to be remastered, and they did later on. Man, they, they really took the grace away from this thing over time in the later games, but there's a reason why it's such a classic. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. What do we got here? The Reaper. This thing does not actually feel like an SMG. You know, it feels like a rifle. Could potentially even... It's, it's like an LMG in an SMG. You know what I mean? A ton of fucking ammo, a ton of fucking damage, all in a quick little light versatile hold, you know? It's the most perfect gun Ever. Here we are on BO1 Kino, the path of least resistance. I could choose another map, but pack a punch on every other map in this game is a little bit trickier. It's just a pain in the ass. You know, Kino is just very straightforward. It's right there. All the guns are super easy to grab, and we have five of them to grab. Four of them are on the wall, thankfully. We have the PM63, 
Ugh. We technically have that MP40 over there, but that's a repeat, so we're not going for that. We have the MPL, the MP5K, the AK-74U, and a final box gun being the Spectre. Hey, by all means, though, if you guys want to see other maps than just the base one, let me know in the comments for sure, and let me know which one specifically. Moon is a pain because you got to flip back and forth between Earth. So that's just not fun. Call of the Dead, it moves around. Shangri-La is, I guess, not that tricky. On Ascension, it's pretty easy. On Five, though, it's a little tricky as well because well, although you get a bonfire sale, I, I say tricky as if, no, it's really not. Um, <laughs> I think I'm just coming up with excuse. I don't know, people like Kino, and I, you know what? We're playing Kino. Okay, we got the PM63 here first. Just an absolute disgrace of a weapon. It has very little ammo. It has an embarrassing damage output. It is just, as bottom tier as an SMG gets, but you're not paying a lot for it, I suppose, so you get what you're bargained for. So you, even on an insta-kill, it looks lame as fuck, right? Already out of ammo! Already! I mean, that was like two rounds. Not even. Not even a full two rounds, my friends. Grab this. MP5K. We got two out of the five. Well, I guess two out of the four wall ones already. This gun was the same price as the PM63, and it has more damage and more ammo. It's just undeniably better. And I would say that this isn't even the best one. I'm out again. Again! And we're gonna get dogs in a second anyways. Pop out a little wheelie here. Pat both of these things. Interestingly though, with this game, a lot of the dynamic changes with the upgrades. So this becomes dual wield, full auto, which is still ass, but it's unique. And this stays largely the same. Thankfully, I'm getting these guns early enough to where they look good. Even when they're not necessarily, you know, the shotgun ones, I'd get them so late in the game that they would just all look like poo-poo, but these look okay. Unfortunately, that's not really the case. You know, the dual wield is fun and everything like that, but the ammo is just already, like, gone. Like, where did it go? We're gonna trade this thing out for the MPL, another classic, and I should go get the AK, but not really because then I won't have enough to upgrade it. So we're gonna go upgrade this thing right off the rip. The MPL becomes the... Uh, MPLLF? I don't, I don't know. MPL. Oh, I got it right! Comes with a cool little reticle sight. It's largely unchanged. Honestly, this and the MP5 are kind of indistinguishable from each other. They're essentially the exact same gun. Alright, so we'll trade this in. We got the last wall SMG. This is just another classic. It's been in a million games at this point. We'll get the AK-74 FU-2. I love these slap in the face names so creative. That's some sort of symbol that I don't fully understand. I don't know. It's got a reticle sight. Oh, okay. All right. All right, we're gonna give this a second. We got a fire sale. We're gonna pop back and forth between these two since it's probably smart to keep these weapons if possible. Hello? Like what? I can't spin the box. Are you shitting me? Not cool. Why am I not able to, what? Mm. New round, new attitude? No. So it's glitched. So basically, we have to wait for a fire sale for this to ever work. I mean, I guess on one hand, this makes for decent footage. Because <laughs> it's like, I don't even know if this glitch has ever happened before. I have an idea. Now, I'm buying the MP40 right now, and I'm going to upgrade it. Not because it's a part of the challenge, and I need to. Because, like I said, it's not necessary. But I'm going to pack a bunch of this thing so I can actually get drops. Because with a Thunder Gun, you can't get drops. Because I need fire sales. So we're going to myth bust this thing and see what's really going on here. So I guess we get the BO1 afterburner in here. A little bonus one, just in case I inevitably forget another one <laughs> at some point in this long upgrading series. Oh, there's a box right there. Where's the light? It's above the alley, which means the official spot for the box is supposed to be up here according to the light. This fire sale has thrown everything off. So this is a fake mystery box spot that I actually was able to end up spinning at one point. So here we go. Ah, okay. So this is not supposed to be here. Yet it's the only one I can spin. Got the ray gun. We need the specter though. Can I just get the fucking gun I need? Thanks. Well, that was just about the most bizarre shit I've ever seen in my life. And this specter, now that I have it on round 23... I don't even know what to make of this. This is the most perplexing game of zombies I think I've ever played without using a mod. This is not modded, for the record. Okay, now it's gone. Now it's just gone. And the box says that it's right there by the lobby where it should be at the moment. What an absolute fuckfest. We have enough to pack a punch this thing 
We're done with the challenge now. Oh, no, we're not. We got a link to teleporter. All right. This becomes the Phantom. It's got a reticle sight. It's dog water right now, especially. But I would say it's not as bad as the PM63. The major takeaway here is the PM63 is garbage, and I just had the most glitched, regular, non-modded game of zombies I've ever played. All right, friends, we're on Black Ops 2 now. Mob of the Dead is where we are starting off. We have two weapons on the map to get. They are both on the wall. One is exclusive to this map, the Uzi, which is something I get pretty much every game. And the M1927, which is technically the Tommy gun. It's technically the Thompson in its essence, but it has a different name. And it has like a cool little drum mag sort of thingy. So it's a little bit different. Different enough for me to count it as its own entity. There are also three other SMGs we need in Black Ops 2. The Scorpion Evo on Origins. The PDW, which is on Die Rise and Up. And the Shikom. That one's only in the box. So is the Scorpion Evo. And the PDW can be found in the box or the wall. So that's my long way of saying that we're going to tackle Mob for these two guns. Not spin the box since that's not really in the cards. Not really a part of the strategy. I don't want to die on round one. That would be a little bit embarrassing. And we're going to be spinning the box a ton on Origins for that Scorpion Evo. So we're probably going to get the shit calm. Hopefully the PDW as well on that map. And if not, we can go back on Die Rise. More likely buried to finish that off. So we're going to be playing multiple maps here. And our first gun here is the Uzi. What I love about the Uzi is that it's small, versatile, and on pretty much every little piece of this map on every wall it seems like there's one of these things so we will be able to constantly replenish ammo here we go oh yeah oh just look at that shit speaks for itself we got the m1927 we got our two guns that we need last shield piece we're gonna get this bish rocking and rolling we're making progress not having to feed the dogs is a huge not only time saver but stress saver now i say we build this plane right her Get straight there. We got everything we need. I don't see why we should stick around. Got the two guns. Save up for 10k. And we got ourselves a day. Alright, looks like we're gonna have enough to throw this one in right here. It becomes the Uncle Gal. Greatest gun in human history. Oh my god, every time. Every time it gets me. And uh, we only need 5k more, yeah? Oh no. Well, let's see. See, I wish we had more ammo in the mag. That's like my only complaint. Oh, and we're gonna get two of these bad boys now. Oh no! Gosh dang it, I was hoping to be able to finish that round with the... What's it called? Speakeasy! Don't worry. We'll get Brutus down before we before we go to Origins. Oh, there's gonna be three of them! That's right! One! I'm determined to take you fuckers down! Alright! Sweet! Another game of Origins without really doing Origins. Getting the stabs and all that extra crap. We're only here for the Scorpion Evo. And then hopefully we can get the shit calm and the PDW in the box simultaneously. Kind of, you know, kill bird, three birds with one stone. I need a point gun at bare minimum here. Now a shotgun and a sniper. Every time I hear that sound, it sounds like the pans are sneaking up on me. <gasps> yes! PDW! To be honest, this is a damn good weapon to have to start off. A ton in the mag. We got 50. Really powerful. Of course, it's not on the wall, so it's not like, you know... God tier, God tier. You gotta spin the box and get lucky. We need to go grab another shield, but first we're gonna pack a punch the PDW here as quickly as I can before they close in on me. I haven't had ammo in what feels like an eternity. Ouchie. Well, this better work out because this is all we friggin' got. It is doing a hell of a good job though at the moment. Let's place down the gramophone even though we don't really need to. Oh, shit! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Should I just grab the nuke? We're gonna claim our double dev award. And we're gonna find out where the box is. Yes! Alright, we're gonna trade this out because we're kinda done with that. I would like to keep this MG08 for survival's sake. We're gonna pap the shit calm once we get enough, of course. Ooh, a fire sale. I mean, frick it. What's that? <gasps> no fucking chance! Yes! Alright, 100% since this is exclusive to Origins, if God forbid something goes south. I already have this done. Throw that right in. Oh my god, you're already seeing it happen right in front of your eyes. And there's a panzer. Alright, this monkey's gotta work! It's gotta work! I'm gonna fucking lose my mind! No chance it's still in there waiting for me. Alright, well! Uh... <laughs> You guys saw it. I didn't get any gameplay with it. I'm only laughing as like a coping mechanism right now. I'm actually fucking screaming inside right now. Not only do I lose that, I lose the entire gun slot. And I don't get that MG-08 anymore. 
So I am here with a Shitcom fighting off a Panzer on round 16. Well, and that's GG. That's 100% GG. Great. All right. Well, we're going to grab Galvies here. We are on town, by the way. <laughs> Pack of Punch is right there. Shit comes in the box. Definitely the easiest way. I can't play a game of Origins without sucking. Okay, thank God. I spent all that time Galvying. I spun the box maybe 50 times. We finally got it. We're going to actually put it in there this time and not get wrecked by a Panzer. Pull that bad boy out. We got the Shikim Cataclysmic Quadruple Burst. Let's see if it's full auto or not. Nope, it's still... Is that a four burst? Yeah, it's a four burst. A very weird SMG. Not very good. Probably the worst in this game. I don't have much positive to say about it. It's four round burst. Uh-oh, Timmy's been cursed. Here we are on Shadows of Evil. We've got this map and then Zetsubo. The all-time Zetsubo and Shadows classic clash here. We've got the bootlegger on this map, specifically is why we're here. That's a lot like the Type 100 from World at War, but it's got a different name and it's a little bit different. So we're going to go get the bootlegger and then we're also going to try to bang out three other wall guns. The weapons kits ones, the VMP, Vesper, and CUDA. Now, I forgot that there wasn't a Pharaoh wall buy also on this map, so that's what we're going to do on Zetsubo, since I'm pretty sure it's there, and even if it's not on the wall, we can spin the box, because we have to spin the box anyway to get the Razor back, which is exclusive to Zetsubo. So, that's going to be a major fun time. We're rocking extra credit right now, just to get some points, help out, speed up the process on shadows and then you already know i'm gonna get immolation on zetsubo so i can spin that box and save a bunch of time i mean it's just toxic to just be spinning the box and wasting a bunch of time but i don't have to so we're not going to but it's largely the same no perka no wall or crate power god forbid to make this an instant easy challenge oh and the last one i forgot to mention was the weevil that is also a box gun i'm pretty sure like 99 percent sure you can never be fully sure <laughs> it's just so many maps and so much shit to remember that the weevil is not a wall buy you have to get in the box so we're gonna try to get three on zetsubo and the other four here on shadows and split the diff we got pack a punch opened we're gonna grab the vesper since it's right here why not so the bootlegger can be iconically bought from the trolley tram whatever you want to call it it's got that side extendo clip that I love so much about the Type 100. An absolute classic. And it was exclusive to this map for a long time. But then they added it onto those Chronicles maps, like I said. And the thing that stands out about the Vesper, I would say, is the rate of fire. I mean, it's not anything special. It's a standard-ass SMG. Gets you points. Inexpensive. Look at the rate of fire, though. Pretty fucking nuts. So let's throw this in. Ugh! I don't want to get assaulted. We're going to grab that. It becomes the Einstein. Classic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then we'll throw in the Vesper, which I do think I know the BO3 upgraded names. It is the Impaler. That's what it must be. Infernus. Okay, well the VMP is the Impaler. Let's see if my memory serves me correctly. The CUDA wall buy is right over here. No need to keep this. It's an early enough round where we can survive just fine with a standard gun. It took me a while to actually find. VMP wall by, but there it is. So these are run of the mill BO3 SMGs. They're all so basic. I'm not even going to lie. They are good. You know, they do the job, but nothing outstanding. I think the CUDA is marginally better. We haven't really gotten to the best ones yet. The bootlegger was pretty good, but a lot of these are subpar so far. What's the free mega going to be? Oh, flavor hexed. That's pretty special. Which means we get a random thing. Unfortunately, this one's completely useless for solo. So now we're going to get the Impaler. And then we're pretty close to being able to get the Crow Kuda as well. Ah, ah, all right, we're there. Bangarang, gang activity. Get the fuck out of the way. Slut. And here we go. Very, very cool stuff. Island of Despair, baby. We are going for the Razorback, of course. The Weevil, two in the box there. And the Pharaoh is in the box, but it is also on the wall. So we should be able to get that outright if we're not able to get fortunate enough. All right, Immolation, our one Mega. That's pretty gangster. We're going to go over here at the end of the round and get to spinnings. Also, the Pharaoh's right here, actually. So that's easy. I wish I could actually keep these. Another map exclusive. But unfortunately, we've got to let go. Oh, we got the Weevil. Well, that's good. 
Fuck off, fuck off. I need it. Oh, I almost just died right there. Wow, I need Jug. I am not fucking around right now. Let's just invest in it. Ask questions later. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, only one slight problem. I am completely tapped out of ammo and I am not looking to trade this thing in and a thrasher just spawned in. So we're doing good gamers. Okay, alchemical, 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 alchemical. Yes, so I need to get points. There's some ammo. The Weevil is probably the best weapons kits SMG in this game. It's really strong, has a ton in the mag. Definitely the best bang for your buck here. Uh, this one, this comes with an ELO sight. This is pretty fucking cool. And obviously it's unique to this map as well. A max ammo would have been fucking great earlier, dude. Here's the moment of truth. We're gonna get the barrage and the... Oh god. Oh god, what's this one? The Gillen Bursty. <laughs> I don't know, that's close. What do we got here? Gillen- Wow! Gullen Bursty. What the fuck does that mean? We're gonna buy the Pharaoh right here. 700, very affordable. Unfortunately, this is just a hot piece of garbage, dude. Here's the thing about BO3 guns, though. They're all so decent, including the awful ones, which would be this and... You know, a few select others that... They're all usable, especially with double pap. I mean, it's just kind of hard to go wrong with any gun. You can even make this thing work. Wouldn't recommend it, though. Here we are on good old Classified on Black Ops 4. If y'all want me to play any of the other three launch maps, let me know. I might try out 9, but this seems to be the best and easiest one. And a lot of the guns are... Not a lot of them, but some of them are only on the launch maps. Specifically on the wall, so that's why I'm going to be picking launch maps over DLC maps for BO4. Anyways, let's go over the long grocery list of SMGs we got to pick out today. There are nine that are exclusive to this game. The Spitfire, SOG, which I'm holding in dual wield fashion right now. MX-9, Cordite, GKS, Escargo, Switchblade, Micro 9mm, and Damon. Wow, what a mouthful there. We got a lot to do. The only... What's it called? Elixir that I have equipped right now is the bonfire sale one. I figured, hey, we're on five. We may as well just whip on the bonfire sale. I'm allowed one per game, and I didn't actually end up even using one in the shotgun edition because there were only three shotguns, but we have triple that. I am on custom mutations. The only difference at all from a regular game is that I eliminated all weapons classes other than SMGs. So I don't even get to use anything other than SMGs, which I guess makes it a little more challenging. And so when we walk through the map, we got to look at the wall and see which ones are available on the, on the wall and which ones aren't. And I like equipping a bunch of these attachments here too because even though it's, you know, j custom mutations, I like showing these guns at their max potential, you know, fully pimped out with attachments. I think it just adds to it. Let's start inching our way up. We'll start with some of the m lower tier SMGs and kind of work our way up. Oh, I should have uh, popped my temporal gift. Gosh darn it, we need more ammo already because these guns do fly through ammo. We're gonna grab that, then mule kick after that. And when I get mule kick, I think we'll just do a 3-3-3 split. Okay, I think I found all the wall guns here on Classified. There are four, which leaves us with five in the box. So there are actually more box guns than wall guns. Oh my god. We can go grab our third SMG. MX-9, screw it. Oh! Once we get three grand, we're gonna pop in here to... The good old fashioned pack a punch and then activate our bonfire sale and then we should be able to get all three of them papped. All right, here goes nothing. Let's run it, hopefully before they spawn in. Stellar 92, that's stellar. And I guess our mule kick gun is piece, piece of resistance. I don't know what the fuck that just said. Uh, hopefully our mule kick gun actually works in the modifier and we don't lose it if we do happen it down. By the way, we are not going to be doing that stupid septuple fucking pack-a-punch thing to get it to its maximum capacity. I, I don't give a shit. So we're going to get two box guns and then go grab the Spitfire and get our extra set in. I guess we're getting launchers and listen, all the classes are eliminated, but for whatever reason, I still get launchers, specials, knives, all this dumb shit. Well, there we go. We got one of them, micro nine millimeter. That's definitely a box exclusive here. Yes. All right, Matt Damon. Sweet. And let's go grab the Spitfire. I love this gun in particular. It's rate of fire. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Look at this thing. I mean, Jesus Christ. It's a whole fucking lot to deal with. All right, let's spawn this in. Get that rocking and rolling. This is a nice little, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. What's a, a little rotating barrel? I think that's pretty cool. The rate of fire on all these seems to be just astronomical. 
Oh, and a lot of these are DLCs as well. Hang on. Hang on. Give me some space, goddammit. Just insane. Absolutely insane weapon. Oh, shit! Don't worry, I got the, I got the daemon. It is so ass. Okay, cool. <laughs> Alright, we got the cordite. Yeah, everything else we need is in the box. So we'll keep that. Man, if we can get these two... Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm fucking dead. I'm fucking dead. Nice. I think I spun the box. I'm not exaggerating. 150 fucking times. Here's the deal, folks. I spent the better part of two hours spinning the box on classified trying to get the GKS to no avail. So here I am where it is on the wall on nine. I gave myself a small loan of $20,000 so I could just get my perks and fucking set up quickly. Um, no bonfire sale uh, elixir though. So that kind of compensates. Just wanted to get on here and display the gun. I also pack a punched the switchblade and cordite, which we were not able to do on classified. They function the exact same way. We're going to see what all the hype is about this, uh, GKS though. I mean, fuck dude, my blood pressure. Here goes nothing. Throw that bad boy in. Better be the coolest gun of all time, dude. Yeah, it's just real tough with um, the consistency from map to map in this game because some map or some guns are on some maps and not others. Some of them are only wall guns on some maps. Some of them are only box guns on some maps. It is just a fuck fest, dude. A total fuck fest with these BO4 guns. And to be honest, they're all very mid. They're all pea shooters. But it was still kind of fun to do the challenge of getting all nine of them. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. We're not gonna be doing Cold War in this episode because I don't have all of them unlocked. But if you would like to see a progression video where we unlock and do this very challenge with all of the guns in the game of all classes, let me know in the comments. Make sure to drop a like and whatnot. I feel like that'd be a really cool finale for this series would be an entire Cold War edition. So hope you guys have a phenomenal day. Thank you for bearing with me. Love you.